All right, so I'm working on this 2015 Tahoe, and on the test drive, I damn near crashed into the person in front of me because the brake pedal got stiff. It got hard as a rock. I could hard. Yeah, sound, sorry, that sounded a little weird. Uh, yeah, it got really stiff, um, and it didn't want to stop. I had to stand on the brake pedal for it to stop. And I did. I, I looked through it real quick, and I figured out what the problem was. It didn't take long at all. Um, but obviously. It, if you're watching this, you're probably not a mechanic and you might not know what to look for. So let me show you what the problem is on this thing. And apparently it's a pretty common problem. Turn off the AC so you can hear me. So, um, okay, so typically the way this works is you've got your brake booster. It contains the vacuum. It holds the vacuum. The engine creates the vacuum. This vacuum is what assists the brake pedal in going down. Just imagine it helping you suck the pedal down to the floor, okay? And usually GM has the vacuum just coming off of the engine because it creates an infinite amount of vacuum. But for some reason, they decided to go with a mechanical belt-driven vacuum pump on this. Um... Now, I have seen electric pumps. Electric vacuum pumps are really common on cars that have, like, the auto off and on feature. I guess the electro electronic pump helps it uh, maintain the vacuum while the car isn't running. But that's kind of beside the point because this this does not have that. This um, I guess that's why they went mechanical driven. So I'm kind of rambling now. But um, so that that's the problem with this. It's the mechanical, the belt driven pump is not creating vacuum anymore. And... To test that, it's it's very similar in, in how I test AC compressors because, you know, obviously that too is also driven by the belt. Um, so when a compressor isn't working, you know, it, it's not cooling as well as it should be. You can fill it in the vents. It's not, it's not cold. But then when you give it some revs, if you, I'm just talking like 1,000, 1,500 RPMs. When you rev it up a little bit, you can feel it start to cool because you're, you're overspinning the compressor and you're kind of compensating for the internal fault that it develops. It's, uh, it's, it's also a pump, just like the, the vacuum pump. It's not, it's, it's leaking internally. It's not pumping the way it was designed to do. Same thing with the, with the vacuum pump. It's, you push the pedal two times and it's hard. The second time the pedal is hard as a rock. That is not normal. It's supposed to hold a vacuum and the system's supposed to be creating vacuum sufficient enough to give you the vacuum assist on the brake pedal. But, so, to show you how you can figure out that it, it is the pump, just pump it two times, the pedal gets stiff, give it some revs, and then you can feel the pedal sink to the floor. About 2,000 RPMs, the pedal sinks to the floor. That's because I'm overspinning the mechanical vacuum pump, and it's uh, helping it create the vacuum needed to bring the pedal down. I get one pump, two pump, three, hard as a rock. Rev it. And the pedal sinks to the floor. So apparently this is a really common problem in these, I think it's 14 and up. Uh, you could draw Tahoes, Yukons, that means it's going to be the same in your probably Silverados and Sierras. Whatever has a mechanical pump, it's probably going to have this problem. So, yeah, that's real quick how you can diagnose to see if, if your mechanical vacuum pump is going out without using any fancy, like, scan tools or anything like that. Because you can look at live data and see the PSI that your system has or the the, the vacuum it's creating. from Because there's a sensor on the brake booster that reads the vacuum in the system. But if you do have a scanner, hook it up, check the vacuum, look what it's doing when you pump it two, three times... Uh, if you're a mechanic, you might have access to one of those. But if you're just, you know, a DIY guy, just do what I do. What I said, pump the pedal two times, get it stiff, rev it, see if the pedal sinks to the floor. That's a very good indication that your vacuum pump is bad. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. In the next video, I'm going to be replacing this pump. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. See you next video. Later.